Thanks for man. Yeah, thanks. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say if you want to look it up, man, it's NJ Bike Life. NJ Bike Life. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'll pop up. All one word. Huh? All one word. It'll pop up. Oh yeah. Can we get a piece of paper so that way I won't forget? Yeah, that's fine. I'll write it down for you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. Gonna be on YouTube? I was gonna say, you want to be on? Yeah, dude, I'll be on. It. I'll throw it on. What's your name? Paul. Paul. I'm Dorian, man. What's up? Not much, man. <laughs> Pretty sick. I saw the GoPro, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Late, man. Yep, take it easy, buddy. Yo, what up, guys? NJ Bike Life here. Just met someone new, Paul. Gas attendant here at Wawa in Howell. First time I ever wrote my NJ Bike Life down. But hey, I'll take it. Shout out to Paul. Thanks for letting me pump my own gas here where it's illegal in New Jersey. So guys, guess what? I've been looking at new bikes. Yep, new bikes. I definitely will not be getting rid of the, the WR or 250R, but too many people around me aren't riding dirt bikes anymore. And 250 is just not cutting it on the road with these guys. So, I've been looking at new bikes. I have the Honda. The Honda was sick, but it was just a lot of work that I didn't feel like paying for and I didn't feel like doing. So, I'm looking into different kinds of bikes. And the bikes that I keep on gravitating towards are... Any Yamaha. I was looking at Kawasaki 636s. I might have mentioned that in another vlog of mine. But now I'm trying to stick with my Yamaha because all the Kawasaki's I've been looking at seem to be having issues. And this Yamaha has been perfect for me. So I got no complaints with this. So I'm thinking of just sticking to the Yamaha family. And the bikes that I've been looking at have been Yamaha R6 but I don't know if I can convince myself I hope it doesn't rain on me I'm trying to go down to the shore and I see nothing but rain clouds but hopefully they don't they don't actually rain but I've been looking at like I said I, uh, Yamaha R6s but I don't really know if I like the idea of uh leaning over a bike all day. My back's kind of jacked up as is anyway, so I don't want to, you know, add to it. And outside of the R6s, I don't think that person knows that they have a green light. They just totally missed the light. But outside of the R6s, I've been looking at uh, Yamaha FZs and FZ6. I don't really want to get bigger a 600 unless it's like a cruiser bike because then that's when you start getting in troubles even though i don't really speed i don't speed i don't stunt so i'm just looking for a bike that'll get me on highways like this much more comfortable than the dirt bike does because 250 is a great cc but not so much for the non-woods, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been looking at 600s. Like I said, the 636 was cool, but I read that they have... I was looking at like 05, 06, and I read that they have transmission problems. Where, like, you'll be shifting in the second... And I'll slap right back into neutral. That I can't have. So, the Yamaha I think is the way that I'm going to go if I am going to get a new bike. And I think the FZ6, which I don't have to lean over too much, I think that might be the actual route that I'm going to take. So, stay tuned to see 
see if I get a new bike, which I'm hoping I do, but you never know. Holy shit! Yo, welcome to Lakewood again. This this little intersection here is like the worst. Between that light and this light, it's like impossible to drive and not almost die every second of the day. But once we go through here, it will be smooth sailing for the rest of Route 9. Hopefully. Of course, we got his brakes on for no reason. stop so I came over to this side and now it's proving to not have been such a great decision so maybe if I ride all the way out here on the left this person will be like oh left lane is for passing right lane is for driving keep right drive left or keep right pass left but it doesn't look like that's the case that person was so close to the seat if there was ever an accident that person would literally their whole chest would explode. That's scary if the airbag ever went off. But yeah, that's the dilemma I'm in right now is, is if I really want to get a new bike and what bike I should get. But I'm sticking towards the Yamahas. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the Yamahas and what other good, like, not massive bike I should look into if I am going to get a new bike.